if you're watching this, you probably don't have a lot of time to waste. So let's jump right into the massive time savers I use when I'm setting up my second grade classroom. Before you start doing anything to your classroom, put your setup checklist somewhere that you can reuse them year to year. I like to use a simple Google Keep checklist because after you check the item, it disappears. However, in future years, you can select uncheck all items and it'll automatically reset. You can also add pictures to the list to help you identify how you organized items. Do your future self a favor and keep a running list of all the setup steps you do at the beginning of the year so that you don't have to waste any time remembering what to do. My next tip is to use dollar store plastic tablecloths as bulletin board covers. They're plenty big enough, end up looking really smooth once you staple them, and they can be used year after year and still look great. My next item is for your classroom key lanyard. Grab a clear badge holder and put your daily class schedule on one side and your student roster on the other side. Since most of us wear our keys the entire day, this is a really handy way to have quick access to your school schedule at all times. I love this next quick tip for dealing with student headphones. Instead of handing out all your headphones, use a giant clear plastic shoe organizer to store all of them. It's really easy to hang on an empty wall and the clear plastic allows you to adhere name labels. Teach your students how to wrap the cord around the base and then they can pop their headphones in their own labeled pocket. Clean, tidy, and out of the way. The next idea came from my son's teacher. If you have student workbooks that all look the same, sort of like my Bridges math curriculum, use fun colored duct tape on the spine to help students identify which one they need during a lesson. It's really easy to say, grab the blue tape book on the first day instead of having to have students learn all the different versions right away. Speaking of tape, I also like to use colored masking tape to divide up my teacher table to help students have their own defined space. And I also like to use it on my whiteboards as a cheap, easy border. If you're planning on making a really cute meet the teacher newsletter for the first day of school, don't waste your time searching endless templates online that cost money. Instead, I like to use Canva for both my meet the teacher and weekly newsletter. Canva is free for educators and has thousands of amazing templates to choose from for a whole variety of uses. I also use it for any of my nameplates or labels for work folders. This isn't sponsored, of course, because like nobody sponsors my videos, but I just happen to really enjoy using Canva and have used it for years. Next on my list is to organize coloring supplies in individual bins by color. I used to always give students all of their coloring supplies to put in their desks or have them in a caddy to be shared by an entire group, but it just never really worked. It either ended up being a huge mess or students would be missing supplies. So instead, pick up some open bins that fit for your space. These, for example, are from the dollar store and organize the markers and colored pencils by color. Students can quickly grab what they need and return at the end of the day. It takes like 30 seconds max. The next hack I've used in my classroom and actual home. Looking for affordable decor? Use plants. They add a bit of color, they warm up a space, and they just bring life to the room. Additionally, you only need to buy a few and suddenly everyone will be giving you plants as presents. Plus, my students love having horticulturalists as a classroom job. Another cheap decor find is for my class meeting rug. Hit up the end of summer cells and find yourself an outdoor rug for cheap. I like outdoor rugs because they're really easy to vacuum and they clean up super easily with either a hose or a power washer and they don't pill like indoor rugs. I picked up this one last year that was originally marked for $100 for 14 bucks. If any of you have ever found a really amazing deal for your classroom, comment below and let us know because I absolutely love to live vicariously through other people's bargain shopping. Interested in more classroom organization ideas? Then check out this video about how I organize student login passwords. Or check out my favorite way to organize all of my worksheets and materials for the entire year.